Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share my channel to your friends if you like it. In this video, I am going to talk about contest functions from the scalar functions. This is the third video from the Snowflake SQL function reference playlist. Context functions. Context functions allows gathering the information about context in which statement is executed. These functions are evaluated at most once per statement. In this topic, I am going to talk about the list of the functions from the context functions. How to use these functions with the examples list of the functions if you see context functions under context functions subcategory the general context we can divide these context functions into three categories okay first one is the gen general context under general context we have a different functions like function name is the current client returns the version of the client from which the function was called current date returns the current date of the system Current region returns the name of the region for the account where the current user is logged in. Current time returns the current time for the system. Current timestamp returns the current timestamp for the system along with the seconds and all these things. Current version returns the current snowflake version. Local time alias for the current time and a local timestamp is also alias for the current timestamp. Sysdate returns the current timestamp for the system but in the U UTC time zone, universal time zone. And the second, second subcategory from the context function is the session context. In this, we have a functions like all underscore user underscore names, returns the all user names in the specified account, if an account is passed, or all user names in the current account, if no account name is passed. Current account returns the account used by the user's current session. Current role returns the name of the role in the use, use for the current session. Current time returns the current time for this system. Current available roles return a string where care that lists all roles granted to the current user. Current session returns a unique system identifier for the snowflake session corresponding to the present connection. Current statement returns the SQL text of the statement that is currently executing. Current transaction returns the transaction ID for any open transaction in the current session. If you don't have any open transaction then it will be uh, returns the null. And <coughs> Current user returns the name of the user currently logged into the system. This is also, I mean, session context. Okay, last query ID returns the ID of the specified query in the current session. If no query is specified, the most recently executed query is returned. You can pass the query ID of last one or last two like that. Last transaction returns the transaction ID for the last transaction that was either committed or rolled back in the current session and the third sub category is the session object context from this category we have a functions like current database returns the name of the database in use for the current database if you don't use the any database then it will returns the null current schema returns the name of the schema in use by the current session if you don't specify any schema name then it returns the null Current schemas returns the add to such path schemas. Current warehouse returns the name of the warehouse in use for the current session. Invoke role returns the role name of the object executing the query. Invoker share returns the name of the share that directly access a table or view where invoker share function is invoked. Otherwise, the function returns the null. Is granted to invoker role 
returns to if the role returned by the invoke role function inherits the privileges of the specified role in the argument that means it inherits the um, main object privileges is role in session returns true if the user's current role in the session that is the role returned by the current role inherits the privileges of the specified role or else returns the fall if specified role is either higher in the role hierarchy of the current role or is not in the role hierarchy at all. Usage notes. The context functions generally do not require arguments. Okay. To comply with ANSI standards, the following context functions can be called without parentheses. Basically, all these functions, mostly all of them functions, we have to use the parentheses. However, well, first let me execute the general context functions under context functions if you see here these are the all general context functions if you see what is the current client information i have logged in through app ui so snowflake ui and the current date current region because this account is the aws ap south zone sys date it is lit okay and current time current date current version 4.4 4.42.2 local time all this will displace like that you can use the as part of your query and session context that me these are all the session context all underscore user names current account okay this is particular to after connecting to session so these are all users under account if you pass the account it will return the related to that account otherwise if default one and what is the current account and what is the current role i am using my default for my user account admin is the current role because i already executed the role here in the session that's why it is showing the current role if you don't use this one then default whatever the role has been assigned to you that will be displayed over here okay this is the available roles current available roles to the your user and this is the current session id this is the current session id this is the current statement executed which we have used this one only current statement is being executed the same same query so these are all details i mean okay uh, this one okay uh, session context now we are going to use the session object context to execute this one you know same way see the current database is i am using the current database as the dev underscore same dev underscore so if i change any database then it will uh, display accordingly and what is the schema name and what is the different schemas over here i mean current schemas in this database what are all other database and invoker role is the account admin like that it will display and as i said that usage okay and if you execute this one without parenthesis we can execute this current date current time current timestamp current user local time local timestamp these are the functions we can execute without parenthesis. That's all from this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon for the notifications. Please share it and like it. Thank you once again for watching my video.